Hey guys, thanks so much for being a part of our weekend evangelistic thrust. Thanks for your prayer and for your giving. We thank God so much for you. This week we're looking at uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, beginning at verse 18 and ending at verse 20. And by now you know, the Bible says, For you know that God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors. And it was not paid with mere gold or silver which lose their value. It was the precious blood of Christ, the sinless, spotless Lamb of God. God chose him as your ransom long before the world began. But now, in these last days, he has been revealed for your sake. You know God paid a ransom for you. You know the salvation that we are experiencing now is because the initiative was not taken by us, but by God you know God would have set it up so that every eventuality of the devil, every purpose and plan, every attraction or testing or temptation, all of that would have been taken into consideration when God chose to save us. And he used a blanket concept that which he would pay for us and he would even though the devil may have set a price, God set a price that far exceeded the expectation for a sacrifice that the devil would have never have thought of. Hear what? He engineered it that his son would be the sacrifice. God engineered it that his son would be the sacrifice. And you need to get this, because the price of mankind, the price of humanity needed a ransom that would meet the value of what God intended to use us for. And so hear what he says, God paid a ransom to save us from the empty life of our ancestors. It means if I continue to live without this salvation, my life would end in a disappointment. It would end in destruction and I would have only hell as an outcome. So God rescued me. And I thank God that he did. I thank God that this was not a, a half-baked plan, but it was an all-inclusive option. And God saved me. I pray that will be your testimony. And the expectation would be God's will be done on earth, even as it is done in heaven. God bless.